My Rack's transportation maneuver. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Newsroom. I'm Chelsea Smith with your Middle East U.S. Entertainment News here on YouTube. I air on Fridays. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics of Iraq based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interests. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Last week, we talked about black market, exchange rates, tax reforms, investment technology, and innovations. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. Early in the week, the Iraqi president, including Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, Mohammed Shia Sudani, and Faik Zidin, discussed the elections of new parliamentary speaker, the approval of the important laws and financial issues. They emphasized the importance of consensus for economic and social policy and the need to address the Zionist aggression against Palestine and Lebanon and strengthening political unity. It's been a long time since they picked that Speaker of House. Over a year, how would they have done that in the United States? We would have gone crazy. However, Iraqi Credit Bank achieves a net profit of $20.4 billion from quarter one to quarter three, with revenues growing 38% from 19.1 billion dinars in quarter one. Last year, assets increased to 524.8 billion dinars, but deposits decreased. The bank has retained a profit of 38.7 billion dinars. Iraq's transportation minister, Razak al-Sadawi, announced 11 memorandums of understandings to be signed with Spain, aiming to deepen ties of trades and international cooperation. The Iraqi government is working to adopt policies of economic openness and maximize the private sector's role in economic development. Al-Sadawi emphasizes the importance of strengthening joint work to increase and diversify trade exchange between two countries. He also invites Spanish companies to participate in Iraq's reconstruction projects and participate in the Baghdad International Exhibition. Iraq's Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Sudani confirms that investment opportunities received again from the Arab and foreign companies exceeded 100 billion. He met with Egyptian, a Swedish group of companies and discussed cooperation in the sectors like industry, education, energy, and infrastructure. Al Sudani highlights economic cooperation between Iraq and Egypt. The government is preparing the basis of a 2025 budget for the House of Representatives to study and vote on. Etwan al Etwani, head of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, discusses draft laws related to the financial and banking system development with Adam Smith International Foundation delegations. And the Iraqi trade bank, the TBI, has opened new branches in Baghdad, increasing its total branches to 25. The bank aims to enhance financial inclusion and support Iraqi national economy by providing financial and making services for commercial operations, reconstruction, and infrastructure projects. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me with this next really important subject of Iraq. So the Central Bank of Iraq has been working on banking reforms since 2016 under the leadership of Governor Ali Mosin al alaq The bank also has addressed economic and security shocks such as ISIS occupation and the rise of the U.S. dollar exchange rate. The bank has issued three strategic banking projects, achieving 92% of the objectives. The third strategy delivered from the State Economic Policy and the Central Bank Law Number 56 of 2004, aimed to set clear goals for 2024 through 2026, reminding you that Iraq's plan of banking reform methodology at the Central Bank was from 2016 to 2026. Their key goals are to enhance monetary stability, enhance digital transformation and cybersecurity, enhance financial inclusion, maintain sound financial systems, develop organizational structure and human resource capabilities, enhance the central bank's position locally and internationally, enhance compliance of banking sector and non-banking institution sectors with international standards. These programs and initiatives included the launch of national strategies for banking lending in Iraq 2024 through 2029, restructure banking financing, adoption of correspondent banks in foreign transfers, protect financial systems, enhance financial inclusion, manage monetary and financial stability, develop oversight and supervision and development regulations, complete 
development of digital transformation infrastructure, licensing digital banks, and implementing regulatory policy, strengthening bank internal and external relations, and represent it in locally and international markets. And with that being said, Iraq has signed a significant custom agreement with the TIR, National Association, paving the way for implementation of the United Nations TIR transit system in the country. This agreement supports Iraq's economic vision to expand its non-oil sector and reduce border crossing times. The commercial region bank in Baghdad has reported a profit of 30 billion dinars from the start of year to year in the third quarter. However, assets decreased by 5% to reach 994.6 billion dinars and deposit decreases by 20% to reach 458.6 billion dinars. Despite this, revenues reach 66.3 billion dinars in 13% growth from the same period last year. The BRICS summit, which includes three Arab countries, is focusing on eliminating America's economic dominance. The BRICS summit in Kazam aims to strengthen an economic cooperation among the group's countries, focusing on food and energy security issues. The summit will include 36 countries, including 22 high-level leaders and leaders of six international organizations. The main theme in BRICS and the Global South to jointly build a better world. The summit is also focusing on getting rid of the dollar as U.S. sanctions on Russia and the global payment systems has impacted the region. The BRICS plan, which focuses on cryptocurrencies managed by central banks, is expected to be built within a year, allowing countries to make cross-border settlements using digital platform operated by their central banks. The transition to new payment mechanisms between countries is not easy measured, but will require time as countries move into this direction according to Economy News. Iraq's Prime Minister's advisor for Investment Affairs, Mohammed Al-Najjar, confirms that the country's success is attracting $100 billion in investments over the past two years. The contract signed with al Sawadi Electric Company includes $5 billion in investments and the establishment of three industrial cities. The Iraq Fund for Development aims to attract local and international investments. Iraq's government is preparing its 2025 budget with Adam Smith International assisting in decisions of public financial management on reforms, tax, customs, public debt, and development fund sector. Iraqi Parliament Integrity Committee member Vian Dakli has raised concerns about the dominance of foreign bank branches and Central Bank of Iraq's monetary market and foreign currency buying and selling window. The committee is working on laws to limit the validity of foreign banks, their branches, and Iraqi banks with foreign capital, aiming to limit the profits obtained by banks from Iraq. Some foreign banks and foreign capital acquiring money transfers in Iraq causing all Iraqi money to go to other countries. Iraqi experts warn of the currency leak out of Iraq due to corruption in the country's currency auctions. The central bank administrator plans to gradually cancel these dollar auctions until it's completely canceled. The Central Bank of Iraq has reduced the interest rate from 7.5% to 5.5% due to decrease in inflation in Iraq. Inflation fell from 8% to less than 3% according to the Ministry of Planning. This decision was made by the Central Bank Deputy Governor Amir Haman based on monetary policy trends and economic growth rate. The bank has also reactivated the Islamic Certificate of Deposits and Traditional Remittances with returns of 4% and 5.5%, respectively. The maximum investment limit for banks is not exceeding 50% of total private sector deposits, and the bank investment ceiling is not exceeding 500 billion dinars per auction. And you've been watching Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Chell Smith with your Middle East U.S. entertainment news on reforms and economics of Iraq. I bring you the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm here on YouTube every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn those notification bells on. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. If you really like my content, you can always see a super chat or a super thanks in the comment section below. Again, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for visiting Newsroom Chell Smith for your trusted darn news. I'm having a wonderful week at home. My puppy had little babies, so we're enjoying 
having puppies in our house. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Make sure you join us Fridays, 4 p.m. with Newsroom Updates with Charles Smith Entertainment News.